What is up everyone? Today I have an NSB setup video for you guys for two different shoes. It's going to be for the Yeezy 500 Topa Light starter coming out tomorrow and the Air Jordan 6 Electric Green starter coming out tomorrow on June 5th. So first I'm going to start off with the Yeezy 500s. I'm only going to go over for the Yeezy's um, Full Locker, Yeezy Supply and Shop Nice Kicks. I believe those are the three sites that are confirmed at the moment. So I'm gonna start off with Foot Locker first. So head over to Create Task. You're gonna to go to Foot Locker. For the mode right here, always put it on smooth. Skew, here's how you get it. Let's head over to the Foot Locker website. Go under Releases. And here it is, there's a, the, men's, the adult sizes and then the grade school sizes. Let's just start off with adult. You can see here they're going to have sizes 7.5 through 17. And here's the SKU right here where it says product number. You're just going to copy and paste this into NSB. Sizes, like I just showed you guys, is it had 7.5 all the way through 17. I feel like sizes like 15, 16, and 17 will be a really hard sales. So I'm going to go for 7.5 through 14. And this is how you would type it out. You put the number, followed by a comma, and then the next number. You don't put any spaces, just the number separated by the comma. And if you don't care what size you want, you just type in RA for random, or you could just leave it blank. That'll be random too. So once you type that all out, select your billings, proxies. Here's what I'm using at the moment. I'm using Omega Residential. Jiru Residential, Leaf US Residential, and an Oculus DC. I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys saying why your proxies are bad. Um, you, you're going to want to generate them often. You don't want to you know, generate a proxy and use it like a week and, or two weeks later. So make sure you're generating new ones often. So you can see here I, I put the date when I generated. It's June 2nd and today is June 4th. So it's only been two days. I'll probably generate new ones anyways tonight or before the drop, but that's just a little tip I got for you guys. For Foot Locker, <clears throat> for Advanced, I leave this alone. So the default settings is 3500 for both, so I just don't click it. Schedule task, it looks like here it says it's going to drop at 4 a.m. where I live, which is in California on the west coast. So I'm going to start my task. 10 minutes early so I'm going to start at 3.50 a.m. and solve captures you don't need to click that okay so that was for the adult sizes so now let's get the grade school skew since they are different here it is for usually for grade school sizes for Yeezys they're all profitable so I would recommend you just go for any size on the grade school pairs but here's the skew. I'm gonna copy and paste that. And you'll see here, I'm gonna leave the sizes blank. And you're gonna see right here where it says sizes, it'll just fill in RA, which is random. And there it is. Starting that task task 10 minutes before the drop. In case you didn't know, if you live on the east coast, your drop will probably be at 7 a.m. So just remember that. So that's how you set up the task for Foot Locker. Now let's head over to Shop Nice Kicks, which is a Shopify site. So for the mode, you're gonna to want to have it on Cyber 3.0, and then let's get the link for it. So this is how you would get the link. Let's head over to Shop Nice Kicks. Go to Launches. You'll find the shoe around here somewhere. So as of right now on Shop Nice Kicks, I don't see the shoes on the page, but it shows in the NSB Discord that it's going to release on there, so don't really know what's going on there, but if it doesn't show on the page, you could try typing in the keywords to see if the shoe does pop up during release time. So here's the keywords that I got from NSB to say exactly what they put. You're going to want to put that in for keywords. And that's the Foot Locker SKU that I showed before. So here's the keywords, you're going to want to copy and paste that into any Shopify site that you're botting if you can't get a link. So I'm going to put that under keywords. 
in sizes you could type in the size this is a Shopify site so I recommend you use a DC a ISP proxy or you could use no proxy if you want so for Shopify sites I like to have my delays at 3000 for each schedule task this it shows here on in the discord shop nice case is dropping at 7 a.m. Pacific time so I'm gonna start my task at 655 five minutes before the drop you don't need to click on require login because you don't need an account to buy <clears throat> to buy anything off shop nice kicks and force capture you can have it on just so the captures could pop up faster <clears throat> Yep. So there it is. That's how you make the task for Shop Nice Kicks using the keywords. So now the last site <clears throat> I'm going to go over for the Yeezys is Yeezy Supply, which is a little more complicated than the other sites that I'm botting, but you'll get the hang of it. So in mode, there's only normal mode, so you'll type in normal mode. For the PID, here's what it is right here. I got this from NSB Discord, so. Just put that in. Adidas, you don't have to worry about Adidas because it's it's only dropping on the on the confirmed app, which is a raffle. So just ignore the Adidas. This is only for Yeezy supply. So put that in. So once you put that in, use any proxy you want. I think all of them is okay, whether it's residential, ISP, or um, a DC. This is dropping at 6 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm going to start mine. They usually ping us in the Discord when to start our task. They usually do it right at start time or like two minutes after. So I just, I'm just going to schedule it for 6 a.m. Have release on, have the release checked right here. Schedule task 6 a.m. Advanced. Um, I'll probably leave these blank for the default settings. So once you do that, you're not done setting up for Yeezy Supply. What you're going, to, what you're going to want to do next, head over to Captcha. Click on the second one right here, and then select site. So go to Yeezy Supply all the way at the bottom. Proxy, you don't need to put anything in here. Go to Open Solver. You're going to see here, this page pops up. You can see it says, do not close this tab. So do not close it. You're going to want to head over to new tab. By the way, you do you do this step before the drop. You wouldn't do it like the day before and then close NSB because that will just close this page. You're going to want to do this before the drop so th that this stays on during the release. So once this is here, open up the new tab, head over to Gmail. Go to sign in, and you're gonna want to sign into your Gmail. And then once you sign in, it'll take you to the page where it shows you your emails. Leave that open, leave this open, and just minimize it. That's basically all you do. That will help you. That will help the bot auto solve all your captures for Yeezy Supply, so that you don't have to do it. So just do that, and you'll be fine for Yeezy Supply. But that's pretty much how you set up the three sites for the Topa Lights dropping tomorrow. So now I'm going to head over to the Jordan 6's setup now. So for the Jordan 6 Electric Greens, I'm going to go over all four foot sites, which is Foot Locker, Champ Sports, Foot Action, and East Bay. And the steps that I'm going to do for Foot Locker is going to be the exact same steps for all four foot sites. So remember that. Then I'll go over to, I'll go over a couple Shopify sites like Shoe Palace and Shop Nice Kicks. But let's get right into the setup now. So I'm going to do Foot Locker first mode smooth and in the skew just like for the Yeezys you're gonna do the same exact step head over to the Jordan 6's click on it and you'll just scroll down to the bottom where it says product number and here's the skew just copy and paste that it looks like here it'll have sizes seven and a half all the way through 18 I don't know if you're gonna want any of these sizes so you might have to type out the sizes that you want I'm not gonna do it right now just because I showed you guys how to do it earlier so just do the sizes you want in here billing and then the proxies here's what I'm using advanced for full locker I like to leave it with the default delays 
this, unlike the Yeezys, the Yeezys are dropping at 4 a.m. Pacific time, but for this release, it's dropping at 7 a.m. Um, Pacific time. So I'm going to start mine 10 minutes before, so 6.50 a.m. And then submit. So that's how you set up the, here's a skew for the adult sizes for Foot Locker. So here's the grade school skew. And I'll go here, grade school. And the SKUs for Foot Locker, they're exactly the same for all the other foot sites. So Champ Sports, Foot Action, and East Bay, like I'll show you guys in a bit. Exact same SKU. So paste that in. So there it is for Foot Locker. Here's the adult SKU for the Jordan 6s. And then here's the grade school. Now let's do Champ Sports just so I can show you guys that it's exactly the same. So here's Champ Sports. We're going to go to the men's sizes. Just scroll down to the bottom here. Here's the SKU. Copy that. And put that into the bot. You'll notice here it's exactly the same as Foot Locker. So I'm not going to go over you know every foot size since it's exactly the same, but that's pretty much how you would do it. It's that simple. It's really easy. So just do it like that. So now let's do a couple Shopify sites. Let's do Shoe Palace first. In Shoe Palace, I like it because you could just get a link, which is really simple. Keywords can make it pretty complicated. And as of right now, NSB hasn't posted the keywords, so there's nothing I could really recommend to you at this time. I could kind of show you what I would do, but if there's a link, I would get the link. So head over to Shoe Palace. It'll be under Releases, where you'll find the shoe that you want. And then here's the Jordan 6s. You just click on the shoe, it'll take you to its product page, and you just copy and paste the link right here. It's that easy. Put that into the link area. And then I'll st I would start this 10 minutes before the drop as well. Advanced, this is a Shopify site, so I would probably go a little lower. So maybe 3,000. <clears> and then have four capture, force capture on. Just so the captures could pop up faster, give you a better chance of solving it quicker, so they could get the shoe. So submit that, and that's how you would do the link for Shoe Palace. Let's just say you can't get a link though, like there's no product page. For example, some sites you won't be able to. Uh, here, I'll just show you guys an example, like DTLR. You can see the shoe right here. When you go to their releases, it'll show the shoes. And here's the Jordan 6s. You can't click on it like you can with Shoe Palace. So you can't really go to the product page and copy the link. So you're gonna you would have to do the keywords like I said. So the keywords I'd probably type in Air Jordan Retro 6. And then it looks like they're, they're going to call it electric green, so type that in as well. And then let's say you want to go for men's sizes. You're going to see here they have men's, grade school, preschool, and toddler. So if you want to go for men's sizes, type in men's and then put minus sign and then put in some words that you don't want. So what that does, it this will make the bot not um, get any shoe with the, this name in it so it won't go for any name with grade or school so that you don't get the grade school pairs you only get the men's pairs so f you could type in a lot with these just to make sure you don't get the wrong item so you want to be as specific as possible so I would do something like that if you're doing keywords DTLR by the way I start my task two to three minutes before the drop and this is dropping at 7 a.m. Oh, I didn't even switch it to DTLR yet. But yeah, I showed you guys how to do it. Air Jordan Retro 6 Electric Green Men's and then Minus Grade. And I, sh I showed you guys what I did, but you guys get the point now. Uh, this is also a Shopify site, so I recommend you use a DC, ISP, or No Proxy. So that's how you would do it <clears throat> for DTLR and Shoe Palace. Let's do one more Shopify site. So Shop Nice Kicks. It's another easy site to set up for because you could get a link. 
just head over to launches right here and just click the shoe it'll take you to the product page and then you just copy and paste the link cyborg 3.0 starting at two to three minutes before the drop and there it is <clears throat> so that's basically how you set up for the foot sites and a few Shopify sites for the Jordan 6's but that's gonna be today's video guys good luck on tomorrow's drops for both shoes um, for Yeezy supply NSB is not really the best bot for it so if you can't cop any pairs off Yeezy supply don't be surprised I believe last week during the Yeezy and flame drop I believe I didn't see anyone in the, in the discord check it out so that that tells you a lot about how NSB does with Yeezy supply so like I just said don't be surprised if you can't hit on that website but anyways good luck with that if you have any questions at all feel free to DM me on my Instagram at jcresells559 or leave it down in the comments um, if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel I'm always doing NSB videos to help you guys out so just stay tuned for more content on that but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time